Hey everybody, today we'll be remaking a spooky haunted house with two of the doll houses from Dollar Tree. And the inspiration is from Karim.com and Bargain Bethany. And I will link their videos below. And what I've done here is I went ahead and I painted the pink dollhouse black and then I pulled out all of the windows. And um, what I'm gonna do with the windows, I'm gonna take this uh, Acrylology brown paint and this ivory paint from CraftSmart, and I'm going to be making the windows look uh, old and distressed. So I mix my paint together, and we'll just go through and you know paint all of these up. And then after I get the coats uh, of the ivory on here, uh, I let them dry to a certain point and then um, uh, you know I'll bring in the brown paint and um, uh, go over the ivory with the brown paint and I leave them to dry for now and these two pieces actually snap together and um, there is since there's two there's an extra roof so um, what my husband did was he went I had him take the bandsaw and cut a couple of the pieces out on the roof and you'll see that later on in the video but here I'm just snapping them together and um, they go right back together on this part now these two bottom pieces there's a little um, and I'm just showing the size with my hands because they're pretty small and these little tabs here have to be removed because uh, it won't be able to be glued together. So I'm taking my Bled's glue gun, and it is um, a glue, uh, cordless glue gun, and it helps a lot of times with projects like this because you can uh, you know, quickly heat it up and then you know, get the job done without cords or anything. So um, taking my pliers here and just removing those tabs that we talked about and um, it does take a bit, I work with them a bit to get it off. It probably would have been better to maybe have a, a, you know, a larger, more robust pliers there. So uh, that, those tabs, and this is the way that they'll fit back together, and they will get hot glued. And I see I'm taking off a little bit more because it just wasn't as flush as I wanted it to be. So I'm removing those tabs in there. And for the next step, what we'll do is, you know, I'm just sizing it up here, taking a look to see what I've got. And when I've got those cut off, I take the sanding block and sand them down. And I had to sand them down quite a bit here to get them to fit together. And um, if you see Kareem's video, she goes through the steps very well and in, in detail and actually what she had done was put the um, put everything together first and then she um, painted everything so I couldn't find her video right away or Bargain Bethany's video on this so what I did was I, I just kind of got started and then I was able to find their videos later and uh, see that she took a completely different step here so this is my remake of it and you know I pretty much started very backwards <laughs> so I had to go back over a lot of things and and change but the way she does it is really good and then Bargain Bethany has you know used her um, website and her video as inspiration and then um, you know went through and did you know her own version of it so here um, I've taken some of that brown paint and um, I dipped it in a little bit of water. I have a cup on the side there and I just, you know, went through and used the brown first and then I used some of a um, that lighter ivory and I still had it, uh, you know, with that water next to me and I was dipping the brush into the water and I'm uh, sorry this is not really a good view uh, but I'm holding it in in my hand it's a little bit hard to hold on to it so I had to uh, you know hold it closer to me so sorry that it's out of view like that but um, and I'm just going over you know uh, with that really wet paint 
you know, dipped in the water and then brushing it on and trying to get, just to make it look a little bit worn and old and creepy. <laughs> so um, I've got that part pretty much set up and I do go through with a paper towel and, you know, wipe some of it off till I get it blended very well. And then I've got that brown paint again from Dollar Tree, the Acrylology. And um, I'm just going to go uh, back over those windows and try to give them this kind of worn look. And I'm using my finger here. It would probably be better to use a paper towel. <laughs> but I have a little bit of a smaller brush and I just go through all of these. You know, they, um, they pop out pretty easily out of the dollhouse and you know so they're easier to paint and then I decided to do some spooky shutters and I found this Park Lane sticks at Joann's it really wasn't what I wanted um, I wanted kind of like stir sticks to do it but we work with what we have and here what I'm doing is I'm just measuring uh, about where I want the shutters to be and I'm making a line and um, I go through all of them I make them up and then I have a space to hold them on the end there because I didn't paint the whole thing. And then I'm just mixing the brown and the ivory. And then here's how my shutters look. And then um, I did, you know, the windows with the purple curtains. And I boarded up my windows. Uh, I wanted to make them look a little bit different than the other haunted houses. And this necklace that I have is just what I got from Dollar Tree. It's bones and skulls. And um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut all this, this necklace up. I've got a couple of them. And um, I'm gonna put them onto a, like a, a balcony. And, and what I did was I took a, a popsicle stick, a jumbo popsicle stick, and I just wedged it in between and I hot glued it. And what I'm doing here is painting it black. And that way I have a little bit of a balcony there so that I can glue the uh, bones and skulls onto and then where the front door is um, you know and here's the people uh, these were the people that were with the dollhouse and I just painted them black and they'll go through a couple other color changes through the project because I just wasn't sure I, I was doing a lot of improvising and changing uh, I changed the color of the roof too because it just wasn't blending in and that lighter gray really made it pop and then the pieces that you see on the side with the windows are what my husband cut out on the bandsaw from the second roof that was left over and it needed some elevation so what I was trying to do was just make it higher and make it look a little bit more ornate uh, because with the one dollhouse it's so tiny but this gives it that elevation and then I put some extra windows on the side here is the dining room table it's a coffee table and I'm taking that and I'm gluing that on uh, under the front door and that's going to serve as part of our our balcony and um, you know that will that actually does stay black because the door being up at the top the second door from the second dollhouse looks a little weird so I kept that black so that it would kind of you know recede in and you wouldn't see it as much and then here what I'm doing is I'm just taking all of those little pieces the bones and I made a little balcony um, you know railing with the bones and I just um, you know alternated them put a couple in and then turned them and then you see the little heads there and what I'll do is I'll place all those skulls at uh, different corners and just glue them on and uh, I found uh, some really good spots to put them in. I put them on the left and right side of the door and then I'll end up putting them uh, on the corners of that first balcony. N and next what we'll do is um, taking some of the skeleton heads that I have or the skulls that I have left over and um, I put those on as the for the feet and I'll show that a little bit later but this is some of the um, people that were in the uh, dollhouse 
kit and I just painted them black and then um, I'm gonna place those in different areas on the roof just to, again to give it some more elevation and some more interest and um, it takes a little bit to get these on um, and you know they were you just had to really hold them in place for a bit and you know they're a little bit oppy so I have to take that and um, I'm gonna mix that metallic paint and um, the uh, black paint and uh, mix it together and I'm going over this um, the balcony the bones and just to make it you know give it a little bit of depth and, <clears throat> and a little bit of interest and um, that's how that turned out with the skulls and then I also went up and I painted the people and everything that I put there I put some bones on there so I'm not happy with that so I go back in I get some metallic gold paint and that uh, brown acrylology from Dollar Tree and uh, the metallic paint I believe is from Michaels and I'm just going to play around with some mixtures here uh, I just didn't feel like the dimension was good I felt like the balcony just blended right in. Um, I even put a balcony upstairs too. I don't know if you can see it too well at this point, but I took some more of the bones and I put a balcony up at the very top on the roof. And um, and I take a lot of time here finding the right color. And I just go through, I even actually wiped it off a bit. And then, um, you know, I go back in, I, I feel like I find it here. And what I wanted this to look like was bones like old bones and I think that color worked and with the mixture of the the gold I think it just made those um, bones and that railing stand out especially the skulls and um, I you know do get to a point here where I I like the way that it looks it gives it this just kind of different dimension and here is our spooky mansion and what we have here is the whole spooky town that um, I put together these two houses are made out of Dollar Tree wood and I just took the two pieces and you know uh, glued them together and I will have that in an upcoming video for those two but um, all these three houses are part of the spooky village and um, I had made a tree and um, that will be in uh, another video also and um, I took these the trees that I had and some um, Christmas trees that I had and I just painted them orange and yellow and um, and if you'll see here I put some tea lights in um, the windows of the house and you can see the bones on the balcony are that uh, color that I mixed together with that uh, gold and ivory. And I just love the way that they came out. I think they really stand out great. And I took some tool from Dollar Tree and some tea lights. And I just stuffed the tool in the back of the um, uh, two stories. And then I put the tea lights in front of them. And I think, you know, it gives a great... Um, ambiance there and it looks like the windows are actually um, you know that the house is actually lit up inside and the um, rest of this spooky town here is just um, gonna be in a, another video and I um, and I'll explain a little bit more how I did those but those are uh, part of the town and um, I'll also in another video too, I'll t uh, show you how I did the fence and everything and how I put that together and um, put the sign together and everything but I just love the way everything turned out and um, the video was going to end up being pretty long so I decided to separate those um, other houses out and um, you know go through a little bit more of a um, tutorial of how I made those and what I'll do is I'll put the links in the description of this video for the next video so you can stay tuned for the second part, part two of the Spooky Town. And also I will um, link Bargain Bethany's video and also Kareem's video. 
just so that I can give them both the proper credit. And I know there's been plenty of the uh, dollhouses converted into haunted mansions on YouTube, but these were the two that I used. And I just want to thank you very much for watching my video today. And please like and subscribe for more videos like this one. And I will see you in the next one.